Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 running the Android One UI 3.0 beta. So this is the second beta release. So yeah, I will be showing you all some of the changes that I have noticed within the one-handed mode. Okay, so I have my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here running the Android One UI 2.5. So Basically, I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison to show you the difference within the one-handed mode, show you what's new. So, yeah, um, I've currently got one-handed mode to open up on both devices simply by double-tapping on the home button. Okay. Um, for you guys who are new to Android, you might not know what the one-handed mode is, so I'm just going to explain real quick. So these devices do have a pretty big screen. So if you have small hands, it's kind of difficult navigating around the device. So what one-handed mode does, it allows you to shrink the display size so that you can easier navigate around the phone. As you can clearly see there. So yeah, let me just put the phone straight. Okay guys, so you can see the layout here pretty much looks the same. But what I, what I noticed straight away is on the One UI 2.5, you get this bit of information here, one-handed mode, tap the black area to go back to full screen. You get this bit of information, whereas on the new One UI 3.0, you do not get that information. Another thing that definitely stands out is the background here on the One UI 2.5. As you can see, my wallpaper is blue, but the background here is black. It has this awful black background that I do not like. Whereas on the new One UI 3.0 update, as you can see, I can see my wallpaper there in the background. It just looks a lot better, guys. It looks so much better. Apart from that, everything does pretty much look the same. However, there is something new. So <clears throat> you can change the size. Hold on, let me just go back in. It's a bit tricky doing it with one hand, guys whilst recording. So as you can see, you can change the size on both. However, what's new on the One UI 3.0, if you select this little tab here, you can now shift the display. So you can shift it to the top Or you can shift it back down to the bottom there. And on both, you can shift to the left. And you can also shift them both back over to the right there. Another thing I've noticed is when you go into the settings, There's a lot more information on the One UI 2.5. As you can see, you get this little, um, you get these two little pictures here showing you how it works. Whereas you don't get those two pictures there. It's like a little demo picture. So there's less information on the One UI 3.0, whereas there's more information here. Um, I hope that they can add that to the One UI 3.0. Just for the new people who are new to Android, it will help them to better understand how it works. But apart from that, guys, it's pretty much the same. But I thought I would share these few little changes with you guys. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. 
be sure to like and share this video it's your boy the android doctor and i'm out see you in the next video deuces